everyone. Thank you for having Huawei present at IFA 2020. Commitment, a pledge to do something in the future. That is an important word for Huawei in Europe. I want you to remember that one powerful word. It really matters to people, and therefore, it really matters to us. And even more so today, given the increasingly uncertain world we live in. So, commitment is the theme for my presentation. More specifically, our commitment to innovation through our seamless AI life strategy and how that applies in Europe. Our commitment to our many European operations, employees, relationships, designers, developers, and other partners. And most importantly, our commitment to the millions of European customers who choose and trust Huawei's technology. I want to use today's platform for a different purpose. Rather than talk in detail about new products, I want to tell you the true story of Huawei in Europe, where we are today and where we are heading. I will reveal some new plans as well, particularly for our European retail footprint. Not many know just how engaged, invested, and committed we are in future success of Europe and ensuring our many customers across this fantastic, diverse continent continue to get the seamless, connected life they have come to expect from our leading hardware and software. People's needs and expectations of what technology can and should do for them will only intensify in a new normal environment. This is a trend we have seen accelerate during lockdown. Data traffic has boomed across Europe. Germany recorded an all-time internet traffic peak in March 2020, while throughput in Italy and Spain increased by 90 and 35% respectively. Huawei has been at the center of meeting this surge in demand for connectivity and data during lockdowns. Whether through our network infrastructure, where we saw a spike in cost out for engineers to increase capacity, or through the use of apps and services on our smartphones and other devices, we can say from our app gallery data that total downloads jumped by over 60% between March and April during the peak of lockdowns. The number of hours our customers were streaming video contents doubled, and we saw similar massive increase in music download. We were involved in some incredible, important human stories too. In Italy, which was one of the first European countries to be hit by the virus. It was Huawei Technologies and our WeLink cloud collaboration platform that brought together hospitals. We connected doctors in Italy with doctors in China to share their critical information and key learnings. In many ways, this Italian experience reflects exactly what sort of company Huawei is. A bridge between the rest of the world and China, not one or the other. Playing a vital role in helping Europe navigate this crisis was only possible because of a commitment to our 1 plus 8 plus N strategy. It is this commitment we also ensure we are at the cutting edge of the innovation and technologies people want in their future. We have long understood the trajectory the world is heading. People want a more seamless and connected life. So, delivering 1 plus 8 plus N has been our focus. Let me explain. Our market-leading smartphone, the one 
is at heart. While other smart devices from Huawei, the age, along with third-party products, the M, work seamlessly together using Huawei Share and Hilink. This combination forms an advanced, easy to use, and connected experience across all user scenarios. Whether you are at home, in the office, traveling, looking after your health and fitness, or simply trying to relax and find some entertainment. Let's explore some of the key components of OnePlus 8 Plus M more closely. We have the best camera smartphone in the world. Look at our journey towards the P40 series over the last couple of years, and specifically what it means for the photography and video experience. The new Huawei P40 Pro is powerfully enabled by a cutting-edge 5G AI chipset. The Ultra Vision Leica camera system offers up to 100 times maximum zoom. It comes with Huawei Golden Snap, which uses AI to help users capture perfect pictures. Huawei's P series has consistently achieved outstanding DxO Mark scores. And for those of you who don't know, this is the world's leading source of smartphone camera ratings. From our Watch GT2 and the MateBook X Pro PC to FreeBuds 3 earphones and the SoundX speaker, we are pushing the boundaries across our Plus 8 product range. People love what we are doing, and we are winning design and technology awards across the board. Our Huawei HiLink ecosystem enables the end part of the seamless AI life strategy. We now have an ecosystem of over 800 partners across more than 100 categories, enabling consumers to enjoy innovative new experience. It's amazing what we can already do through OnePlus 8 Plus M. It's all because we have invested over $82 billion in research and development over the past decade to keep driving our innovation forward. In fact, Huawei ranks fifth on the 2019 EU Industrial R&D Investment Scoreboard. Huawei is the fifth biggest investor in R&D worldwide. This commitment to innovation continues to gather momentum. In 2018, we made the decision to invest an additional 100 billion in R&D. Over the following five years, we are on track to meet that target. Our mobile services ecosystem is the key to unleash the real value of our new technologies under one plus eight plus M. We have the first real alternative to the current app universe in 10 years. This will be totally new and offer an open gateway to an extraordinary connected future. Where everything works together intentionally, seamlessly, and effortlessly. It will not be the same old experience but the next big thing, and it will come from Huawei. With over 460 million monthly active users, 33 million of those in Europe alone, and combined global downloads in excess of 184 billion during the first half of 2020, Huawei App Gallery is now the third largest app store globally. We've created an open and innovative ecosystem, which is not only engaging consumers, but also developers, with our globally registered developers count currently totaling more than 1.6 million, an increase of 76% from the first half of last year. This developer engagement means that Huawei App Gallery is rapidly growing, with on average over 5,000 applications being onboarded into App Gallery each month. To further extend Huawei users' ability to discover all of the applications that they would wish to find, we have also launched our Petal Search service. 
Designed by Huawei and powered by our third-party search partners, such as Europe's biggest search engine, Quant, and Yandex, Petal Search is a new search tool that helps Huawei smartphone owners to easily search for and find the things that they need, applications, and more, directly from their home screen. Petal Search has proved so popular that since its launch in June this year, it has already attracted over 1 million European users. Sitting at the heart of our mobile services ecosystem is our Huawei mobile services core. Currently, over 81,000 applications globally are already integrated with Huawei mobile services core, harnessing the power of technologies such as artificial intelligence, augmented reality, and virtual reality live streaming. And by adopting a global approach to the applications which can be found on the Huawei app gallery, that means that not only the larger global applications, but also the more locally relevant applications are all able to take advantage of Huawei's innovative capabilities. As we look at the future, we are promoting and investing heavily in fantastic startups and growing European businesses to play a key part in this strategy. We are absolutely committed to them and giving them the opportunities to excel and become the very best in the world. Yodel is a very simple to use mobile app, a social network where you can see what people around you are talking about. We are around 40 people right now working out of Berlin, Germany. When we started planning the integration with Huawei Mobile Services, we were anticipating a lengthy process full of challenges. The number of mobile services and services that we rely on on Google platform, such as location services, mobile payments and analytics, in addition to a lot more services, meant that the process would be lengthy. In reality, it only took us 10 days to ship Yodel to Huawei users on App Gallery. We were happy with the support that we received from Huawei in the form of APIs that are super easy to follow and a plethora of documentation that meant that our engineers spent way less time on trying to understand how this works and far more on providing the best experience for Yodel users on Huawei devices. Seven years ago, we launched a project called Maintain Radio uh, with the vision of making simple to, for users with a phone to listen to any radio on the planet. The strategy of one plus eight plus N uh, perfectly matches my tuner radio anytime, anywhere vision. So we are committed to bring a seamless experience to the user. The next decade, we continue to see our focus on the core enablers of the seamless AI life. They are, of course, AI, but also 5G connectivity, customer security, and our groundbreaking mobile services ecosystem. Europe is a major part of the next decade for Huawei, and that's why we are committed to being a market leader here. But let me give you some detail on that because we are much more European than most realize. We are already an integral part of the continent's growth and success story. For our start, we have millions of Huawei device users in Europe and around 700 million device users around the world. We are happy to employ over 8,500 people across 11 countries in Western Europe and 14,000 in the whole of Europe. We have two regional headquarters in Poland and in Germany. And 23 research sites, which serve to strengthen the ongoing partnership between Huawei and the European industry and academia. We have invested more than 1 billion into our innovation research program, which was established in Europe in 2010. Over 100 research institutions and universities have been involved with funding allocated across a diverse range of disciplines from
from communicative technologies to computer science. Last year, we topped the ranking for patent applications to the European Patent Office. Put all this together, and according to an independent report, Huawei supported around 223,000 jobs in Europe in 2019. But there's a lot more still to come from us. Today, I'm delighted to reveal that we are also planning to expand our physical retail presence in Europe, creating more jobs and economic growth at a critical time for our high streets and urban centers. By the end of this year, we plan to have eight flagship stores in Europe across Spain, France, Belgium, Italy, Germany, and the UK. We will also have 42 experienced stores. I'm pleased to say many of our flagship stores were designed right here in Europe. In one of our aesthetics design centers, located in Paris and Milan. Designing the store is a fantastic opportunity to make people meet the brand and the products. Thanks to very clear and strong iconic design elements, echoing what we are doing with Huawei products. Together, this retail footprint will employ hundreds more people and their flagship size play a critical role for city centers helping to draw people in. They are more than just shops. Our design, investment, and vision transforms them into iconic retail destination and city landmark. Our commitments to innovate through the one plus eight plus N strategy and to deliver that innovation partly in and for the European market is really only happening for one simple reason. Our core commitment to our European customers. But this commitment means a lot, more than just giving them great technologies, products, and services. It shows what kind of company we really are, how responsible we are, and what we care about. First and most important, we are committed to protecting and respecting our customers' privacy. All our products and services are developed with a focus on being private and secure. We will never voluntarily share customer information but don't just take my word for it. On screen, you should be able to say what our founder has said about this subject. We could not be more clear on this point, but we have had third party stress tests that played too. As you can see, from the various recognition and certifications we have received, be committed to our customers it's also about our corporate purpose. We know as a good corporate citizen, we are responsible for being much more than just a great technology company. So we are using our expertise and R&D to make a positive impact and contribution to the economies, communities, and environments we operate in across Europe. One of our initiatives we are proud of is StorySide a program designed to help deaf children to learn to read. Here is what we did. At Huawei, we believe that technology should be open and available to everyone, no matter who you are or where you come from. Because we believe that when technology is available to everyone, that together we can help overcome some of the world's greatest challenges. It was with that in mind that we created StorySign. A simple idea, an app that translates children's books into sign language, 
helping them learn to read, and giving them the gift of story time to share with their families and their friends. Now, deaf children can learn to read with everybody. There's 32 million deaf children in the world today, and many of them struggle learning to read because they don't learn to read like other children. Story sign and our AI is helping to change that. Last year, we added 54 new books to Story Sign across 14 different languages. And we made it available to everybody free. Free on Android, free on iOS, and also available in American Sign Language. But our commitment doesn't stop there with our technology. We've also invested in deaf literacy projects in association with the European Union of the Deaf and local deaf partnerships in 10 different European countries so that together we can not just enable children to read, but we're investing in the additional resources they need to really get ahead and grow. It's a fantastic initiative that has had a positive and fundamental impact on people's lives. It has Huawei's technology at its core, and it represents what we stand for, bringing people and technology together to create an intelligently connected world where we all can grow, where we can all live better lives. This is something we are incredibly proud of, and we thank all of our partners from across Europe and across the world who help make StorySign possible. To be able to read to my daughter is the best thing, the best feeling in the whole world. Examples like these show we are engaged in some amazing programs, developing solutions for real world problems and challenges. The COVID-19 pandemic has been no exception. In Europe, Huawei donated 2 million face masks and 500 tablets. In Italy, we have already mentioned the virtual link we created for the country's medical staff to engage with doctors in China. We also donated 1,000 protective suits to hospitals in Milan. In addition, in many European countries, we offered warranty extensions and postal repair services to customers when it was most difficult to go outside and most stores are closed. We will always stand by our customers and communities when they need us most. And that extends to the environment too. Climate change is possibly the biggest risk facing humanity. With that in mind, we are committed to reducing our impact upon the planet. For example, our next generation of flagship products were launched later this year. With 20% less plastic in the packaging, our ultimate goal is to get rid of single-use plastics from all of our packaging. The success of all the social and environmental initiatives has impact. They mean happier employees and customers, and ultimately, a healthier, stronger company that is in close step with the people and communities we serve. And of course, the environmentals everyone shares. As you can see, Huawei has a clear vision of the future for our customers and a deep commitment to Europe. We see a seamless AI life, which has only been reaffirmed by the challenging experience everyone has faced over recent months. We are more determined than ever to make more things possible for people over the next decade. Our combination of market-leading hardware, and an open, fast-growing and innovative mobile services ecosystem, which is brought to life through our expanding 
retail footprint. It's given Europeans the chance to experience a taste of the future for themselves. It's bold, exciting, and importantly, meaningful. It is meaningful not just for what enables people to do, but because this vision is being designed, built, privacy protected, and supported by Europeans for Europeans. It is about a lot more than technology. Our growth and plans are enabling businesses across Europe to grow and thrive. They are offering people choices that better suit their lifestyle. And they are helping families and friends to stay connected no matter their situation. Our efforts are also tackling social challenges, fostering stronger local communities, and creating cleaner, safer environments. We are proud of what we are doing at Huawei in Europe, and we are absolutely committed to doing more now and in the future. Thank you very much.